Greetings, this is the Crunchy Fit, and this is part two of What If Female Deku with the Grim Reaper. So, um, I, I don't remember if I saw a comment about the, this or not, but I, I've been somewhere where I might have just thought about it. I don't remember. But I think somebody suggested, or I just thought about it, I think somebody suggested that, um, Izu Izumi and Izumo should have um uh, some form of a for future foresight thing. I don't remember if it was for this one or another one. So I'll be giving both Izumo and Izumi a foresight ability in this so they can sort of like see into the future, but it'll only be like uh a couple seconds into the future. So It'll sort of be like a Shulk's ability from Xenoblade Chronicles. So if you guys have played that, or if you've basically played them in Smash Bros, you'll know what I'm talking about. So anyway, continuing forward. We open back up with um, All Might jumping through the sewer drain. The manhole. As he would say, nothing to fear, because I am here. As he would look around and see two pe two stu two children, as he'd say, um, as all my would say, um, excuse me, have you two seen a slud a villain with a sludge cork around here? As Izumi would have lied, lied and said, nope, haven't seen one around here. Guess he he must have gone to a different area or left. The entire the area altogether, as all might would then say. Well, if you ever do see him again, let the local for authorities know where he is. As Izumi would say, okay, we'll be sure to let you know. All might, as Izumi is holding one of the sludge villain's eyes, as. Not all of it, the Sludge Villain had completely decomposed altogether, so there was still like a little bit of the Sludge Villain left. As when All Might left, Izumi had crushed crushed uh, what was left of the Sludge Villain into a fine dust as she had let go. As Izumi would have said, why did you lie to the symbol of peace and the number one hero? As Izumi would have said, Izumo, if I told him, him that we that I killed a villain, he would have taken the both of us in because you would have been an accomplice, and I was not willing to let my my brother lose lose his chance at becoming a hero. So I I lied to protect the both of us. Okay, not just me, but also you. So keep that in mind the next time I lie for you. As Izumi would said, uh, okay, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. As they would both end up walking home. As Inko. Inko would still be would still be there because um because she act, she did care for both of her children, not just one of them. As once they got back home, Inko me Inko was there as she'd as um Izumi and Izumo would have said we're home as Inko would have immediately said Ah Ah you guys are back so soon. So what happened? As Izumi just said, Oh, nothing, just the usual people People just bullying at me because of my quirk, and and when I told them, and I immediately put them back in their place when I told them I was going to UA. As Inko would would said, I'm happy that you're following your dream, but can you please try to keep your aggression down? I get that peop people people mis have misjudged you all your life just because of your quirk. 
but please do not let that aggression show through. It's just going to prove them that they're right. As Izumi would have said, y yes, mother, I will. As Izum, as they would have had talked for a little bit, as Izumi would have said that Izumo and her have to train in order to get into UA. So, before I continue any further, should I put Izumi in Class 1A like I usually do? Or should I put her with Class 1B, because that means I can have Class 1B and Class 1A in the same scenes from time to time. So, it's up to you guys. Anyway, continuing forward. So, Izumi and Izumo would have been training for the nine months that it took to develop their quirk. To, not to develop their quirk, to um, strengthen their quirks and their physical bodies and work on hero costume designs. So Izumo would have presented um, his hero costume design to Izumi and it would basically be like this. As Izumi would have said, that's a good, that's a good idea, but um, there are quite a few flaws here. Let me help you improve it. As Izumi would have pointed out all the flaws, any flaws that were there. So like, did she say, she's basically saying you could probably put some extra, some padding here, 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 and here, pointing at th some of the vulnerable spots, like areas that are basically wide open. And Izumi would say, as Izumo would have th thanked her, as Izumo would have asked her, what does her hero costume look like? As Izumi would have said, no, I don't want to show it, it's, it's embarrassing. As Izumo would have said, come on, it's not that, it couldn't be that embarrassing, come on, show me. As Izumi would have said, fine. As she would have shown the design for her hero costume, which is the one in the image. As Izumo would have said, I know you're going to laugh at it, so just let it all out. As Izumo would have said, what? No, it's it's amazing. I, do, I can't see... I can't see anything that could leave you wide open. It, it's pretty good, pretty practical. As Izumi would have said, thanks, I, go, I prefer to go over practicability rather than flashiness. Because if it's flashy, then there's no pra then there's barely any practicability of your outfit. As Izumo would have said. So that's why you go for dark colors. As Izumi would have said. Shut up, Izumo. As Izumo would have said. Okay, okay, I'll shut up. We should probably get back to training our quirks, though. And our physical bodies. As Izumi would have said. Yeah, you're right. As the area, I'll just say say this. Um, in the areas where Izumo and Izumi have been training, Izumo's area is sort of like still filled with like life and all that. So like all the plant life, while Izumi's is basically all of that plant life is dead. Like the grass is dried up and everything else is dried up as well. So, I don't think I actually explained how Izumi's quirk worked in the last one, but I did explain, like, if she touches something, it decomposes. I'm just going to say it here so you guys don't get confused with Shigaraki's one. It only works on organic material. So, on, only on, so anything that is organic, it will work on. So, anything inorganic, so like, let's say she touched a metal sheet or door or window, that would not decompose because it's not organic. Anyways, continuing forward. As the uh, 10 months of training would pass, as Izumo would sort of have like a similar build to how Deku did in canon. And Izumi would sort of, would have a fair bit of muscle mass as well. Like she would have a few bits of muscle. 
of they would then head to UA to take the entrance exam as there in the auditorium as they would be as President Mike would be there as he would be basically be, be talking about how the exam will work as he then hands out the um written portion of the exam the entrance exam with um either me and either Mo being as smart as they are they pass in the top three so Izumi is Izumo Izumi and Izumo tie for first. Uh, Momo is second and Shoto is third, I believe. Anyway, as we then continue through the entrance exam, we then get to the physical portion. As Izumi got bored during the explanation, as she would summon a I shall say right here, Izumi does is gets bored quite easily, so she needs something to like. So she usually something like a miniature scythe for her to fidget around with. While something's hap, well, when she ever she's bored, so she does that as she's sort of like twirling it between her fingers. As um, Prezi Mike is explaining the um, pointer robots. As when he's about to go into the the uh, zero pointer, Ida stands up as you say, "Excuse me, sir. There appears to be th you appear to have spoken about three robots when there are four on this paper. If this is an oversight by UA, I am very disappointed." As you then turn around and say, "And you," as you point towards Izumi, he would say. You need to pay attention. It's very disrespectful to not pay attention to a member of the UA staff. As Izumi would have glared at um either, as um she would have given um okay, so if you guys have um seen the Demon Slayer manga and you know Doma, if you the sort of like smile he gave before he fought Kanao, that was the same smile Izumi gave Ida, as she would say, Excuse- Well, I'm sorry that I cannot live up to your perfect perfection standards. I am still paying attention during this. You are disrupting it. So if you don't mind, I'd like you to sit your ass back on that seat before I force you to. As Ida would have been terrified by this, as he would have sat back down, as Izumi would have said, as Izumo would have said, y you can, p can you please continue, uh, present Mike, sir? I'm very sorry about my sister's actions. As present Mike would say, it's fine. Anyway, um, as he would then say, the, the zero pointer is more of an obstacle rather than something you are forced to fight. So if you if they are to see it, they are to run because it won't give them any points. As they then get to the physical portion, as Izumo is sort of like wearing a hoodie getup, so hoodie getup because remember as I said in the last part, Izumo's body was sort of like a like a shadowy type thing. So, but Izumi can always tell what type of facial gesture what type of uh, emotion he's making by his body language. As Izumi is sort of like in the jumpsuit Deku had in canon, but sort of like darker colors. As they would have, as Izumo would have seen a girl starting feel, looking a bit panicked as he would have gone up to talk to her. As Ida was about to grab his shoulder, Izumi had grabbed him by his wrist, holding up her pinky. As she would say, touch him, let, touch him, and I swear to God, there will be nothing left of you. As Ida would have, would have stopped that, stopped what he was doing, as Izumi would have let go of his hand. 
And she would have said, good, it's, I'm happy we've gone to this understanding. As we would have got, as Izumo, while he's walking up to a rocket to try and come to talk to her, Izumo would have spoken to Izumi and said, you really should start taking mother's advice. Your anger is showing. As Izumi would have said, yeah, right, sorry, Izumo. It's just I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm a bit grumpy. As Izumo would have said, it's fine, it's just, it's fine, you're just tired. We'll, it'll probably be sorted by tomorrow. As Izumi would have said, yeah, right. As Izumo would have walked up to Rorak, as you'd say, Hey, uh, are you okay? You seem a bit stressed. As Uraraka would say, would have said, Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit stressed out, um, for, for the entrance exam, because I'm not sure if I'll pass or not. As Izumo would have said, You will, you will pass, don't worry about it. You'll do great. Anyway, what is your name? As she would have said that, um, as Oraka would say, my name is Ochako Oraka. And, and what is your name? As Izumo would have said, uh, I'm Izumo Midoriya, and this is my sister, Izumi. As Izumi would, as the uh, countdown would have began, as Izumi would have said, Izumo, it's time. As Izumo would have said, yeah. Uh, let's, let's head. Now, I don't remember if I said that Izumi and Izumo, yeah, I think I did say that they had wings. So, they would have spread their wings out. If I remember correctly, I said Izumi had black feathered wings, while Izumo had white feathered wings, because Izumo's quirk was called, uh, Angel of Judgment, and Izumi's was Angel of Death. As they would have flown over the barrier into the city. As Ida would have yelled out, Hey, they're they're cheating. They went before the countdown ended. They should be disqualified from the exam. As President Mike would have said, There's no real countdowns in a, in a villain attack. Follow their lead and go. As Izumi would have been... Izumi and Izumo would have been walking around, just dec decimating the zero point, the robots. As Izumi would have been slicing them apart with her scythe, and Izumo would have been destroying them with his physical strength. Now, Izumi's scythe looks how it does in the picture right here. So there's no difference. And Izumo does have a scythe of his own, but he doesn't know how to summon it yet, so he will learn that with time. As she would have, Izumi would have been slicing up the zero pointers, not zero pointers, the uh, pointer robots, as she would have gotten around 310 uh, villain points, and Izumo would have gotten 310 hero points, because he would have been helping some, some people. So Izumi and Izumo are tied in different points with different point categories as people are watching for the UA staff they're watching from the observation room as I now I've say, saying those two over there as he's pointing towards Izumi and Izumo as he would say those two are very different from each other one of them appears to be saving a lot more people while the other is just gaining villain points I need both. Okay, as um, Neza would say, yes, it appears they're both fundamentally different with their um, views of being heroes. As I thought it said, what are their names anyway? And what are their quirks? As um, Neza would have pulled up their files, as he would have said, ah, here they are Izumo and Izumi Midoriya. As Aizawa would have said, so the siblings. As Nether would have said, it appears so. And their quirks are, 
while Ezumoth is apparently called Angel of Judgment, as he would basically explain Ezumoth's quirk. And for those of you who do remember the explanation I gave, that there you go, as he would then say. And Izumi's is called Angel of Death. Though it appears to be quite a villainous quirk, she appears to have a great idea. She appears to want to become a hero. Hero, so I'm happy that somebody like her is on our side. As as I would said, yeah, he appears so. As Nether would said, now to truly test him, as he would have pressed the button, zero pointer button, as a loud rumbling would have been heard. As Izumi and Izumo were right next to each other, as Izumo was helping somebody up, and Izumi had slammed her scythe into the into a three pointer's head. As she would have looked, both her and Izumo would have looked up and saw a pointer robot, a zero pointer, as everybody else began to run. As Oraka would have been yelling out for help that her leg had been trapped. As Izumo would have said, Izumi, we need to help her. As Izumi would have said, fine, you help her up, I'll deal with the, point, the robot, okay? As Izumo would have said, yeah, let's go. As Izumo, Izumi would have spread her wings and flown up towards the zero pointer, the zero pointer while Izumo was running towards Uraraka. As Izumi would have said, well then, how about we deal with this the old-fashioned way? As she would pull out two scythes, as she basically would have given the um, giant robot the uh, Levi treatment. And if it's for those of you who've watched Hack on Titan, you know what I mean, where she's just spinning around the arm, slicing it into pieces. As she would have then appeared, not appeared, flown to the back of the hero pointer and sliced its head off with both the scythes. As she would have then put both the scythes into the back of the zero pointer's shoulders and just pulled it to um, use its weight against it to fall backwards as the zero pointer would have crashed and Uraraka would have been saved as the present Mike would announce that time is up. And that is where I'm going to leave this part off. I do hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you all next time. Ta-ta!